three, two, one. We have liftoff. It's the end of an era as the Air Force's final Delta II mission lifts off from Launch Complex 17A at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, Florida, carrying the nation's final GPS 2RM, the last spacecraft in the current generation of global positioning system satellites. 1960 Thor Delta is, is, is really where it all started. And we have very successfully, incrementally um, uh, improved the performance of the system to create a very reliable and very stable workhorse for the nation. Delta II was specifically designed to boost Navstar GPS spacecraft into orbit. Challenger now heading down range. Following the Challenger disaster of 1986 as an alternative to launching aboard the space shuttle. With the Challenger accident in January of, of 1986, uh, there was a realization that we had to find multiple paths to get satellites to orbit. Now, after 20 years and more than 50 launches for the U.S. military, the venerable launch platform caps off a near-perfect record of military and civil launches, including NASA missions to Mars. This system has done what it's done and delivered the kind of capability for the nation that, uh, that, that really uh, uh, is, is, is truly remarkable. GPS-2R21 is the last in a series of eight modernized GPS-2RM satellites. The Block 2R spacecraft began flying in 1997 to replenish the network and replace older satellites. This will be our last of the 2RM satellites and they're performing exceptionally on orbit. They're significantly outperforming what we originally expected, both life and capability. And it's going to be the backbone of GPS well into the 2020 time frame. The satellites are modernized to deliver increased signal power to ground receivers and provide improvements such as greater accuracy, tougher resistance to interference and jamming, and enhanced performance for civil and military users. We can use standoff weapons, we can use more precise weapons, and both of these things uh, enable us to uh, limit collateral damage and save lives of the warfighters. You know, as well as on the civilian side, it gives us the opportunity to you know, have day-to-day -day navigation, uh, all the uh, cellular telephone communication systems, the banking systems, farming systems, are all tied to GPS that actually significantly improve the quality of life for the everyday civilian as well. As the Air Force flies its last GPS Block 2R satellite, the military will transition to the next series, the Enhanced GPS 2F satellites, slated to begin launching in 2010 aboard the larger Atlas V and Delta IV Evolved Expendable Launch Vehicle EELV rockets. As for the Delta II, although the Air Force is saying goodbye to the old workhorse, its contribution to national security space will be long remembered.